Seven months ago, we announced the release of a brand new feature called Total Rapid Shutdown. This enabled your LL batteries to trip their physical breakers, improving the safety of the all-in-one architecture by eliminating all energized wiring. Now, this may seem like a simple addition, but safety is a crucial necessity for first responders. But don't just take it from us. We interviewed Fire Chief Bassam of the Sulphur Bluff Fire Department, who weighed in on the value of e-stop. One of the big things that we were looking at when we started this program was the ability to have the rapid shutdown. We had some concerns that something would happen to the grid or to the system and we'd have a fire. As a firefighter, that was a big deal to us. So having the rapid shutdown and the easy availability of it was a positive to us and a selling point. Since we've released the total rapid shutdown feature, we've improved the implementation and extended its capabilities to our wall mount series of batteries. It's also accessible via closed loop communication with the proper setup. This spring up as a need identified by Marcus of our R&D department. So let's go ask him about it. I'm now here with Marcus, the director of product development, who was previously director of research and development at EG4 Electronics. He helped pioneer this feature for EG4, the total rapid shutdown. So we have a few questions to ask him. Hi, I'm uh, Marcus, uh, director of product line management now. As he said, previously director of R&D. Why did we go about creating Total E-Stop? I'm originally from an industrial facility, or my background's in industrial, commercial. Uh, I've worked in multiple steel mills, power plants, uh, recycling plants, and um, that's always been the first go-to uh, safety that, um, was it, that plants have implemented in case something bad happens. You push one button and it shuts everything down. I haven't seen that uh, with batteries yet in the solar market. And uh, we have it for the PV circuit, for instance, you got the rapid shutdown and a big area that uh, firefighters are still complaining about was having to have another DC breaker to shut down your batteries or kill them all at once. And that doesn't exist yet, or it didn't. Now it does with our system, um, with the wall mount batteries or the LLs, mm -hmm. the V2s and up. Um, so you can tie that uh, either, if you're not using our EG4 inverters, you can use a separate emergency stop button and uh, tie it to the batteries and get that same function. Or if you're using the 18K or any of the other inverters, you can just have that function with closed loop communication with the inverter. So if you push the, the rapid shutdown button, it'll shut your PV off and your trip the breakers to each battery and fault the BMSs. So there's absolutely no power coming uh, out of them, period. Do you see total rapid shutdown or the battery shutdown side of things being a future provision or regulation uh, for the NEC code? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I do. I talked with the fire department um, with uh, different fire departments in different counties uh, and they've brought up the fact that uh, they've never even heard of something like that existing and they've always wished for something like that to, to be involved with shutting your whole system down that's counting the batteries now um, and if you look at the the rules or regulations that are being implemented in Europe right now England is actually enforcing uh, next year for this to be a feature already as far as uh, the, uh, the total system shutdown. So I think we're, okay. we're actually ahead of the game. Um, I don't know anybody else in the market that actually has this feature. Um, so do you have any stories or, you know, kind of tales from anyone utilizing this feature effectively in the field? I know we have beta testers and other, you know, features like that, that uh, people uh, tried out. Well, luckily we don't have any stories like that yet. Uh, knock on wood <laughs> we we don't we don't want to we don't want to hear stories like that but uh i'm pretty sure if, if there was a, an issue with the system or um, say your solar panels on your roof had an issue and they caught fire that's that's uh now you have when the fire department shows up I and mean, they can push that button they can shut the whole system down and pull the meter and, and know for a fact that they have zero power come being produced at that point that can come back and get them Awesome. Well, we have had a couple of users request things like having that total rapid shutdown be a remote capability for the web monitor. Do we see this as being something we plan to implement? I think if we added that to the remote monitor, it would um, cause issues with uh, code compliance at that point because it has to be 
like the rapid shutdown for instance is not on the remote monitor side either for the pv it's it's more of a direct area where this is located and it's code compliant that way if you add it to the monitoring system it might cause problems gotcha well thank you marcus and uh would love to hear more from you soon you're welcome thank you guys thanks for stopping by howdy ho ha 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 <laughs> <laughs> this feature is extremely easy to set up you can still use the battery comps port as we showed in our announcement video but we've added closed loop support that does not require any special wiring, simply using an LLV2, an LLS, or one of our Wallmount series of batteries, connect to the 18 kPV using lithium setting one, or the 6000 XP with the EG4 setting to activate this feature. You'll need to be on latest battery firmware from about March of 2024 onward. This is as easy to wire as plugging in the comms line from the battery to the inverter. Now, pressing the RSD button on the inverter, or activating the terminal board's RSD will send your system into a total shutdown state. This will disable the battery, trip breakers, and ensure there is no live voltage on the system. We take safety very seriously at EG4 Electronics, making powerful precautions easy to use. If you have an EG4 system, consider checking for compatibility with this feature. I'm Braden, and we'll see you next time.